Hey guys, um, I'm here with, uh, with Thio, and uh, we're gonna do a review. So a little bit different today because he just showed up. Uh, he has no idea what we're smoking. <laughs> this is my first time smoking, and I've been smoking for about 15 minutes now. So it's a very early review. Um, I haven't gotten the hold on everything, but it's a pretty straightforward flavor. So uh, I feel like I'm, I'm I'm confident in reviewing it already. Um, so what do you smell when you walk into the room? <laughs> What did you smell? Something sweet. Wait. No, I have no idea. Just sweet. Okay. I'm gonna uh, let you try some and take some heat off of it too. That flavor came out a little bit. So, what this is, as you guys already know, it's funny because you guys know before he does. You can read. Hopefully, uh, I, I hope you guys can read the title. Um, yeah, so it's Nahla. Um, I'm not gonna say what it is yet, so let him guess. But it, it's from their new line, okay? So it's from their their new ice line. Um, so what the ice line is, um, I've had the ice lemon mint before the ice line came out, and it's basically just a cooling effect. Not not so much a mint, but like a menthol y type thing added to all the flavors. Um, now he knows what I ordered, so it's it's game over. Um, what is it? Well, ice watermelon mint. That's it, it's ice watermelon mints from Nachla's mix line. Um, it's delicious. It's good, yeah. So basically they're taking the watermelon from Miso, which I found very underwhelming when I had it, but it could have just been the batch. Um, and I'm assuming Miso mint also, which is one of the, my favorite Miso flavors of all eternity. And uh, shoved it into one with some of that ice in it. And uh, here we go. That's what it is. So it's fantastic. We've taken a few pulls and uh, it's smoking really well. Um, yeah. There's a like a candy watermelon note, but it's not too candy like so there's like a watermelon just tastes like, like kind of water, yeah, yeah. It's a very watermelon is a very weak flavor, which is why I find it hard to translate. Um, but this is definitely has that candy, um, almost Jolly Rancher esque um, type taste to it. It's very refreshing though. Mm. Definitely a nice summer smoke if you're like, as if you're biting into like a nice watermelon and you have like a minty aroma around you. It's really nice. Very nice of them to come out with the ice line right before winter. Um, great timing, guys. Keep it up. Um, but it, it's pretty good. I, I've smoked pretty much just as much of it as he has. Yeah, take it back. So, yeah, it's uh, smoke's not as big cloud wise as it could be because we just started and it, the bowl hasn't fully heated up yet. But. You guys know what Miso looks like, and you guys know what Nahlo looks like. It's going to be the same thing. Um, the cut on it, just because it's a new line, it's the same as Miso, basically. A little bit less juicy than most Miso, but it's the uh, same as like the Ice Lemon Mint that was out before, if you guys have seen that. So it's just, there's some juices in it, more than the regular Nahlo. But, um, yeah, so, oh, shut up, dog. <laughs> so, yeah, there's... Definitely, the cooling, uh, I'd say, I saw this in another review, and I agree with it. It's just really your mouth and a little bit under your throat, but it's not like, let's say, cane mints where your lungs and everything are cold and you can feel it. It's just, it's a, almost, yeah, just, just up at the, the mouth, I'd say, and then it disappears. Um, and then on the exhale, you're getting that nice, pretty sweet uh, watermelon and a little bit of mint. I don't really taste the mint too much. Though. No, it's just a cooling effect. Yeah. So I'd say... Um, like, I'd say miso mint is way stronger mint-wise than this is. So this is more like iced watermelon. I don't really get much mint from it. I'm like, it's not it. the kind of mint that would affect your sinuses. It's really just like a, a cooling in the smoke that's fantastic. Yeah. it's um. There's definitely a different taste to it. It's not just watermelon. There's something else there. But it's not... I, I, I'd say it's whatever they're using for this ice thing. Because I, I tasted something very similar in the ice lemon mints. That it wasn't lemon and it wasn't mints. There was something else there, and it, it wasn't just the cooling. It's something I can't describe, but if you've had something from these lines, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, not going to get too much more into it. It's like I said, it's very similar to the miso watermelon. Um, they just mixed a bunch of stuff together. So when it comes to ratings, uh, it's kind of hard. Like I said, this is the first time I'm smoking it, the first time he's smoking it. Um, I just thought it would be a cool idea to review something right off the bat like this. 
So for my first impression rating, um, if it does change, I'll add it in the description below this video. And my screensaver went on. Um, I'll add it there. But right now, I'd say this is somewhere around like a seven for me. Um, it's good, but it's not. It's nothing special. It's just very solid. Um, I could smoke it pretty often, but it might get a little bit too sweet, a little bit too candied for me. Yeah, I agree with the seven. Mm -hmm. I think it's a really solid flavor. It's uh, probably something I would smoke regularly, and uh, it's. I mean, it's really good. It's not like an everyday thing, but. Yeah. Uh, like it's not one of their staple flavors, for instance. That's it. It's uh, I have 250 of it. I'll go through it gladly, but I don't see myself getting much more of it, uh, at least for the time being, maybe a few years down the road. But I think that's about where it stands. So yeah, Sand is pretty accurate. Um, might do a few more reviews later tonight, with some more Tangiers, if uh, we feel so inclined. But uh, enjoy this one while you can, because it might disappear. One. Stay tuned.